Okay guys, we are here in Beyond Crowd Therapy with my friend Ben here in Coldwell, Bloomfield Avenue. So why I'm staying here in the coach, you tell a couple words about the benefits of cold, the benefits of the crowd camera and what the body can get out of cold immersion and cold therapy. So Ben, they are yours. <laughs> So uh, Coach K, right now, his, uh, body temp his skin temperature is getting really cold and the blood is going to rush to his core. And when it rushes to the core, it's going to get detoxed in his liver and his kidneys and it's going to get oxygenated in his lungs. And his adrenal glands are going to shoot out a little endorphins, like those feel-good hormones when you're working out, and a little bit of adrenaline because his body's kind of going into flight or fight mode because we're dropping the temperature to about almost minus 240 degrees Fahrenheit and when he comes out the blood is going to rush to warm the skin and with it it takes all this detox blood fresh oxygenated blood to all of his extremities and muscles that don't usually get fresh oxygenated blood like your proximal hamstring your spinous erectus and your lower back your glutes and your Achilles your plantar fascia and he's going to feel super wonderful yeah, I always feel wonderful right now. I always feel wonderful. You're feeling how, good? How long do you stay in the crowd camera? You're going to stay in there for three minutes. Yep. Okay. So you're, uh, you're halfway done already. Halfway. Yeah. Is it important to breathe while you're in the camera? Like, breathe? You well, don't hold your breath. <laughs> you can definitely breathe, you know. This is a, this is a really great crowd therapy sauna. Uh, there's, the tech, there's three different temperature gauges along the course of the whole sauna. So a lot of times people just have one temperature at the bottom and we all know that cold air drops so this is going to give you an average temperature so that it's it's uh, hitting up your upper body not just your lower body and sometimes what happens is just say like you did squats or deadlifts your legs may be sore and tender so it feels like a little prickly yeah, on the body parts. I'm sore from yesterday my leg day so yeah yeah I there, feel, so your I legs feel, feel like a little prickly yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel, yeah. good Good. Then when you come out, we're going to take your temperature of your of your thigh or upper thigh and see how you can know, usually start around the 80, 80, 90, 92. Most people around that that temperature. And then when you come out, we want to see a drop to, you know, anywhere from uh, 50 to 60 degrees. Some people, like me, it doesn't take much to drop, just like even 37 degrees. Yeah. Nice. That's why nice. I love it. <laughs> Helps me recover between my long runs. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. See that? You're done. Done. Woo! That wasn't so bad, right? It's nice. We have to make a picture. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a. 69, 67, 64. Okay, good. So nice. you're still dropping a little.